it's Nicole, the math lady, and now we're talking about writing decimal numbers as fractions, part one. I'm not really sure why they made this a part one, because this is going to be a very quick lesson, because writing decimals as fractions, crazy easy. Take a look. I've written some numbers up here for you, some decimal numbers and I'm going to put the zeros in front. So that's one of the things when uh, we write our decimals, we make sure there's always at least a zero in front of the decimal point if there isn't a, another whole number. Okay, but how do I write this as a fraction? Very simple. All you have to do is look at the place value. Starting here, we have 5 tenths, which means it's 5 over 10. That's it. Now, generally, you know, we know we don't keep our fractions unsimplified, but for the purposes of this, just to show you how to write it, it's 5 over 10, and then we would simplify it to what? 1 half. Yes. Let's take a look at this one. What, uh, what place is the 5 in this time? It's in the hundreds place. That means we put our 5, our same 5, and we put it over 100. And then again, we would simplify this fraction down to 1 over 20. Now, and I'll go ahead and write those in. I was trying to save myself some space, but I'm going to actually use a different color. Here we go. 1 half. 1 twentieth. Let's keep it going. This one, we have a 5, so we put our 5 over. What place is it in? The thousandths place. So let's put it over a 1,000. And one into a five into a thousand is two hundred. Hopefully, you're beginning to see a pattern here. And let's try one more. Here we have this five in the ten thousandths place. There we go. And now, when I simplify it, it's the same thing as saying one over two thousand. It's really that simple. You make sure you just take your number, recognize what place it's in. Oh, I actually want to show you something slightly different. So well, let me set it up and then I'll show you. Okay, here's what I want to show you. What about a number like this? How do we write that? Well, the first thing is we write our 53 on top for our numerator. But what about the denominator? We go out to the furthest place value, the smallest place value, which here we have our tens, our hundreds, our thousandths, and we put it over the, lar the, the, the place value most to the right, which is 1,000. Okay, and then we would see if we need to simplify from there. Let's take a look at this one, 21 hundredths. It's the last place value is the hundredths, so we do our 21 over 100. And that's it. You just follow the rules. Find the place value, put your numerator on top, and get the right, the right one on the bottom. That's pretty simple, isn't it? I know. A whole lesson on that? I mean, really. All right. Hope you got that. If not, take a look at it again. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.